also I feel that you are uh, really following all the lessons I mean all the video sessions which we are doing so definitely uh, watch all the videos and that to watch complete videos so that you can get much knowledge about the topic so that if they appear in the examinations and also you can easily write them without any problem okay children so today uh, the topic actually we are discussing is the health right so why do we fall ill that is our unit name so why do you fall ill because you are not healthy there are some problems and also that's why you fall ill right there are now we are going to discuss all the things like no how we are going to fall sick and also uh, in the, on the basis of the same so we are going to discuss a new topic which is the healthy uh, person and disease free person like how you can be called as a healthy and how you can be called as a disease free so what is the difference between them what are the uh, minute differences between these two words right so when you talk about uh, the word called as healthy you so within the video without any second thought you say that i'm a, i'm really healthy because i don't have any sickness i don't have any illness that is what the answer will be and when you talk about the disease right the word immediately the disease says that there is some kind of disturbance in your body right so the actually the disease can be also written like this disturbed is this is how you can write that is disturbed is okay children so literally literally this disturbed means is means like no uncomfortable you can say uncomfortable so that means a person who is suffering from disease or who is easily disturbed right now that person is not in a comfort zone <coughs> that person is absolutely in the like uncomfortable zone so <coughs> so now when a person is completely uncomfortable or when he is in discomfort we say that we, we usually think that now that person is a bit disturbed right he is not comfortable on one in particular situation so when you will know the right reason when you will know the right or the specific reason okay when you know the, the right and specific reason you will know that you will know the problem of his so that a person is uncomfortable or when he is in discomfort until and unless you know what is the right and proper reason for that you will never know what is the problem of the person so when you know that this particular person has this problem then you will be able to know why this person is feeling really uncomfortable or when the the reason why uh, he is in discomfort so now basically for example you can take that a person is suffering from diarrhea right you know a person who is suffering from diarrhea i know and he as actually doesn't know he actually doesn't know why he is suffering from these loose motions there might be several reasons behind it but we never know that that fellow never knows that why he is suffering from loose motions or you can say diarrhea so he never will be able to understand what is the reason behind this sickness now we we may also say that a person who is in poor health right a person who is absolutely having the poor health he might not be a diseased person he might not be a diseased person or he is suffering from some kind of disease or he is ill or sick so just because he is he is in a poor health he might not be diseased okay now when you talk about the good health when you talk about the good health good health is a different thing right for example if you come to come across a, a dancer right so when a dancer says that i am able to stretch my legs i am able to stretch my hands and body properly that means the person the dancer is in good health right so when a dancer is not able to stretch his legs properly dance he cannot dance properly so he is facing some problems while he was dancing and all of that that says that he is not in a good health so he is in not is not a good health he is in a bad health or there is some kind of problem which is uh, related to that particular issue so if a singer says that i am in good health that means his lung capacity is good okay he is able to take more carbon dioxide inside and then he is able to sing the song and all right and uh, he is able to uh, hold his breath for some time okay and uh, for example uh, like you know a person who plays the 
trumpets and all like their lung capacities should be really very good because they have to blow it for a long time even uh, the person who uh, like no who uh, plays the flute and also his lung capacity should also be good so that he can play the flute well so now if a person if they say that i am i am really in good health that means the, in in the perception of the singer or the musician their lung capacity is good if you come to a singer he says that i am really in good health that means his throat is good he doesn't have a sore throat or he doesn't have any problem in his throat so basically when you when you talk about the dancer also he might say that i am in really very good health because he is able to dance well he is able to stretch his hands and legs properly so they all say that they are really in good health so that is the difference between the poor health and the good health so a person who is really in the poor health might not be diseased might he might not have any kind of disease in the body but the, the only problem is that he has some poor health sometimes the poor health can also lead to the diseases if you really have the poor uh, health and all then if you don't have a proper immunity proper immunity that may also lead to several diseases okay children so the next question is how do you know that you are sick how do you know that you have a problem in your body right how do you know that you are suffering from some kind of problem so that is what we are going to see now so we already have discussed a uh, few things which i am going to tell you now that is in the first and the second uh, lessons and all see basically our body is made up of cells our body is made up of cells and these cells some of the cells will combine to form the tissues and some so these tissues combines to form the organs and these organs combine to form the organ systems and this organ systems combined form organism so now here you can see the different stages first of all right there are only cells in our body and these cells combined to form the tissues tissues combined to form the organs organs combined to form the organ systems and organ systems combined to form the organism now for example let me take this for example you can take the organs here for example uh, uh, let me write like this nose lungs okay nose and the trachea and the larynx and the lungs now when you see this one what system comes into your mind now these are all the different organs okay these are all the different organs these are all organs are made up of some kind of tissue isn't it now all these organs combine to form an organ system which is the respiratory system okay so all these organs they all combine to form what system respiratory system now uh, take let's take the mouth duodenum stomach intestines okay there are so many other parts in their system but when you talk about these uh, different four parts which systems comes into your mind digestive system that means these all different uh, organs they combine to form a digestive system so when you talk about the heart blood blood vessels what comes into your mind yes that is the circulatory system so like this when you talk about the kidneys okay renal arteries renal veins okay so when you talk about all these things which system come into your mind that is excretory system so now here all these different systems digestive system circulatory system respiratory system excretory system nervous system reproductive system all these systems so like they combine together to form a organism so all these organ systems they combine to form what organism okay now if just assume there is some problem somewhere for example uh, now 
let's let's take okay, now you can see here now this is a mouth okay that is leaving the esophagus and then we have the stomach here and then there is a small intestines here and then there are the large intestines here okay so now here there is some problem here in the stomach or then there is a problem in the intestines okay so what are the problem which is caused from the mouth to the anus somewhere then you can feel the a difference in your health you can definitely feel a difference in your health and immediately you will uh, tell that you are having stomach ache okay or you are having so and so problem so what are the problems which are caused here that is because of the okay dysfunctioning of some of the particular organs or some part of the organ so if the liver is uh, not functioning properly right now there will be full of uh, uh, yellow color in the urine right so that is because of the addition of the bilirubin and the bilirubin in the blood and that will lead to a disease called as the jaundice okay so if there is some burning sensation in your uh, stomach and all no like that will lead to the ulcers so what not so any problem which might come there like no you 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 say that okay i'm suffering from so and so problem so you immediately you go to a doctor now how can you know that how do how do you know that you are having a certain problem so that is a very very important thing to know so now here for example here if you have a problem here so what what you will feel you will say feel some kind of burning sensation isn't it so when you eat some uh, uh, salty food or you can say some hot food and all so you will feel some kind of burning sensation no so that particular situation is nothing but a symptom so because of the symptoms like no what are the symptoms appear because of these symptoms what you will do is you will go to a doctor and tell that sir i am facing this problem so he will diagnose and then he will tell you what is the problem for example just assume you are suffering from fever so what are the symptoms you will feel before uh, getting the fever you will feel some kind of headache your body temperature will grow you will become very weak and you will not be interested to eat food or you will not be interested to even get up and walk here and there so all these are the different problems even there is a, a special for delicious food in your home also you will be not completely interested to eat so all these things were like these are nothing but the symptoms so when you go to the doctor he will tell you he'll ask, he'll ask you a question what happened okay then you will say all these things then he will come to a conclusion when he looks at the symptoms so basing on your symptoms basing on your symptoms he will be able to tell what kind of disease you are suffering from okay children sometimes if the problem is more uh, like you no know, severe he will get, he will uh, he will let you uh, he will say that just go and get some lab reports maybe the blood report maybe the urine report or something so all these reports like you no know, all these reports so they they will tell that they will tell that uh, what kind of a problem you are facing for example now nowadays like you no know, people are suffering from corona right so when you go to the doctor he will ask you to get the corona test so if you, if you tell the symptoms that i am suffering from fever okay i have a very severe headache i have a cold i have cough and also if you tell all these symptoms immediately he will say that you go and get the corona test because see all the symptoms here will make the physician sure that you are suffering from so and so problem if is not that sure he will at least ask you to go and get the uh, blood report or the lab report or some kind of report so that they can diagnose the problem and come to a right conclusion okay children so this is what we have learnt today okay so and tomorrow we'll see what is the acute and the chronic issues and chronic diseases and all so we'll see uh, that in the next session until then see you all have a great day